Good morning, everybody. Today we have a new little chainsaw, Neotech. This is off of Amazon. 139 shipped to your house. This is a 12 inch bar. And actually, the CCs, I don't have to look that up. I'm not even sure. It's an NCS 2500, so I'm going to say it's a 25cc, but don't quote me on that. I can look it up and put it down below. Here's a look at it. Now, I will say one thing. The overall build quality, this plastic, just seems very, I want to say, I guess, brittle and cheap, but it is a cheap chainsaw. $139. So you have your chain brake here, of course. You have your throttle. You have the stop, start switch. Here's your air cleaner on the back here. You have a little choke knob here. And of course, when this comes in the box, the, the bar is not on it and the chain is not installed. So what you have to do is you take these two nuts off right here and once they are off make sure your chain brake is released and you just lift up and slide this towards the bar and this pops right off then of course you can put your chain around the pulley on the motor and into your bar you stick this back on push it down hold it back on and you're good to go now I have not even started this up yet. I'm going to show you what else comes in the box with it. Uh, this is where on the side here you put your gas in which is 25 to 1 which is really strange because I've had a lot of saws and most of them are 40 to 1 or possibly 50 to 1. This is uh, excuse me my ballast just went out on one of my light bulbs here in the in the building. This is your gasoline filler this is your bar chain oil. Now, in this owner's manual, it just says to use 10W30, 10W40, or uh, just standard 30 weight oil in this. It doesn't even mention bar and chain oil. So I'm just going to probably put some 10W30 oil in there for the initial fire up and start and run to see how it works out. So I'm going to put this down and show you what else comes in the box when you get it. Okay, so what we got here, there's what comes in the box. Of course, you have owner's manual with instructions. One thing about these instructions, they kind of have pictures, but the pictures are so small, and the numbers that they tell you what corresponding numbers are for parts of the saw. They're very hard to read, and the pictures are of a larger CC saw, not a top handle saw. So it is kind of confusing, and the start instructions are very vague. So hopefully I can get this thing fired up on the initial startup. You have the chain, bar and chain protector that slides on here. They give you these two hex tools, and I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what they're for because all the outer casings on this saw are Phillips screws. So this must be for something once you get the covers off, maybe to work on the motor, I'm not sure. Uh, they do give you this little gripper uh, if you choose to install it down here. But I'm not going to put that on. It ain't like this is a big 20 inch chainsaw hammer and big logs. They give you a little screwdriver which you could use the carburetor adjustments are a slotted screwdriver, so you could use that for this. And of course you have this for spark, spark plug, that end, and this end is what you use to take the nuts loose to uh, put your bar and chain on. And it does come in this little uh, zipper pouch right here. They also give you this, actually a nice little mixing jug. I don't know if you'll be able to see on here. It shows you, you fill your gas right to this line, then for 25 to 1, you put your oil to the next line right there, and you have your 25 to 1 mix. And they also give you a little funnel, and the chain comes in this box. 
There aren't a lot of specs on the chain. This is all they tell you is that it's three eighths of an inch. They don't give you any other specs on it or anything like that. I mean, even on the back, you can't see there's nothing. So, and of course it comes in this little Neotech cardboard box. So I'm gonna go ahead and mix some gas, uh, put some oil in the tank and try to somewhat follow their very vague instructions and see if this thing will fire up. All right, got some ethanol free gas here. I'm gonna put my two stroke oil in to the proper level. There we go, 25 to one. Okay, so we got that and I found this jug of oil laying around. I'm not sure if it's 30 weight, 10W30 or what, but we're gonna put that in the uh, chain oiler. Let's see how it works out. Okay, the top one is gasoline. Dripping gas everywhere. Alright. That filled up. Like I said, the plastic on this thing, everything just feels very, feels like very brittle plastic. But I could be wrong. here this could even be this could even be bar and chain oil Might actually be too thick, being they're calling for uh, thin motor oil. But we'll see. I have a feeling that is bar and chain oil. This bottle's all dirty, like it was rolling around the bed of my truck up at camp. Okay. So. It should be time to start this. You have a switch here to put it on. There is a primer bulb, but nothing says how many pumps. There's gas in it. I did six, and I can see fuel in it. I'm going to pull the choke knob. Uh, I don't believe they want you to give it gas because if you squeeze this trigger, the choke knob goes off. So, I'm not going to give it any type of gas, I guess.
fired up good. As you see there, this has been, uh, this was sitting in about a 50 degree area all night long. It started up with the choke. That first time it fired and shut right off. Pulled it a couple more times, but then I put the choke down about half. That's when it fired up. And then of course it, it uh, lit right up and kept going there with the choke off. And it actually, it seems like it has a high idle, but it's not spinning the chain. So now we're gonna go ahead and take it outside and uh, see what it does. All right, I tried to find some decent sized stuff here to cut with this. We're gonna fire it up here and see what it does. Put the saw there for reference. You can kind of see what we cut there. Is the size compared to the saw? That's about a six inch diameter log, and it actually cut through it really well. I mean, I'm I can't complain for it. Will it hold up? We'll see, but uh, for what it is, it cuts well, and I mean, I'll just be using it mainly on the dual sport on the uh carrying along on the chainsaw holder on the back of the dual sport is what i will be taking it for it maybe on the atv and the side by side but uh mainly on the motorcycle if i'm trimming trails now of course I, you could probably cut something bigger that's a 12 inch uh bar now i will have to do some research on the chain i have to see what i come up with as far as being able to go to your local hardware store and buy a replacement chain i have a lot of chains here from my other old saws i have to do some looking and see what it matches up to so i know what to buy but uh yeah i mean that's the short term initial use so we'll see how it does in the long term and hopefully that eth ethanol free fuel will not s screw the carburetor up that's usually the downfall of these cheap saws and weed whackers is the fact that you buy you buy them and then in a year you gotta either put a new carburetor on it or take it somewhere and have the carburetor tuned up and and rebuild or what have you so i'm gonna i run in the ethanol free fuel in this one to see how it works out and we'll see what we do and uh i'm sure you'll see some videos of me using this on the trail and i do have videos of there are already videos up of the chainsaw mounts that i have 
on the Dole Sport bikes already, in case you were wondering about that and how I haul the saw. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, grab a chainsaw, get outside and trim some trails. Thanks everybody, I'll see ya. Alright, before I say goodbye here, I'm going to actually show you a couple things that I didn't go over in that little initial beginning. Right here, that's your carburetor adjustment. You have the idle, and then you have your high and low slots right here. And these are just a slot head. Uh, I believe they're slotted. One is a Phillips. The high and low is a slotted screwdriver. Uh, your idle there is a Phillips. And this is your air cleaner right here. I'll take this off here. Get her unscrewed the whole way. And there is your spark plug and air cleaner access right there. And also what I want to mention is if you're an arborist you know, and you're climbing trees, they do give you a hook here uh, to put a clip if you're climbing trees and you have, want this hanging down from your waist. They do give you a clip for that. Not to, I don't think too many arborists are going to buy this $140 saw to be carrying it up a tree with them and get it up there and something happens to it. Time is money. Like I said though, even like this knob, everything is the plastic. If you would drop this saw, I'm almost sure, especially on a cold day, the plastic would probably shatter. It almost feels like it's like a kid's toy that you would buy at the toy store. Okay. I wanted to see if there was any... Oh, well, you know what? What I'm going to do here, I will actually... I'm going to try to pull this side cover up here to kind of show you what goes on here. Excuse me. Just pull it up like that, and right there, boom, you have it off. There. What you have to do too, when you pull this off though, and you initially put your chain and bar on, there's a little chain adjuster tit right there. You got to make sure you turn this screw down in here so that that tit will fit down in your bar so that this will lay flat. If you don't do that, you'll be fiddling around and trying to figure out why this won't go in. And of course, see your chain break and guard and everything all pulls off in one and you got to get these you have these two little ears here and you got to get those back down in first before you put it over your studs and there and just make sure your chain brake is released make sure it's pulled back and released because otherwise that chain brake's going to be gri gripping the, the pulley coming out of the drive pulley coming out of the motor there. And you'll have trouble getting it off. And this is the tool that they give you that I'm using here. Okay. Neotech 12 inch bar Amazon 139 shipped to your door and like I said I will look up the CC's and I will put that down in the description down there so well you see how it performed we'll see how it holds up uh, I tend to be a little rough on stuff when I'm using it out in the woods so we'll see how she holds up see ya